Are you content here? Yes. So mommy can go through your drawers. <sighs> Good morning guys. Welcome to today's video. Um, I decided I'm going to vlog today just so I could chit chat with you guys a little bit and kind of just catch up with what's going on with Penelope or update you guys because I do on Instagram and I always say this but if I ever repeat myself it's just because if I have a new follower or whatever the case may be I just like to let them know what's going on too so anyway I wanted to update you guys on Penelope's swaddle four month sleep regression kind of thing and while i did that or while i'm doing that while i did that while i'm doing that i figured i'd go through her drawers because whenever she starts to grow out of a size her drawers just become a mess because i know i'm gonna end up organizing them anyway so i just end up throwing crap everywhere which is exactly what happened um and the lighting might be a little off just because when i vlog i never use like a ring light or anything but it's actually a pretty cloudy day i just haven't um done any YouTube stuff this week, so I figured let me at least pull up the vlogging camera, it gives me an opportunity to update you guys, and today just so happened to be cloudy. Let me move this. Whoa, you're so big! She's literally right here on her play gym, if you guys can see. So she'll hang out while I do this. I don't even know how I want to, like, what I want to do with all these drawers. These drawers are kind of a mess. You're sitting on her little coffee table thing. Oh, oh, sorry, Pete. <sighs> I'm still in my pajamas, by the way. I haven't even brushed my teeth or anything, but I just didn't want to be bothered this morning while she was napping to get like my shower in and all that. So I figured I'd do it when she's up, but now I'm doing this. So I think I'm gonna shower and everything when she goes down for her next nap, which is already gonna be like the afternoon mom life. But anyway, let me pull these things out so I can talk to you guys while I do. I think the easiest thing to do is just pull out her inserts. And then go from there. She grew out of her three to six month, or I'm sorry, zero to three or three to six? Yeah, like three to six months really quickly. I feel like I didn't even get to get through a lot of her three to six month stuff. Okay, so I took everything out of her drawers on that top drawer, and then I have all these clothes in the bottom here. I bought her these like little things for daycare or the babysitter. Just because I figure she, when she's with me, she's rarely in pants or anything. She's just in a onesie, unless it's the winter time. The winter time, I just leave her in her PJs from the night before. But basically, we don't get dressed unless we're going anywhere. So I wanted her as comfortable as possible, um, and I wanted to make it as easy on the babysitter. So I bought her like these little things. They're not really my style, to be honest. You guys know I like neutrals. I like things like this. Like I bought her this little piece from. Um, H&M and this is like so my style love things like that but for the babysitter and everyday kind of thing I didn't want to spend the money so I bought these and they came in like a pack um, I'll link them down below for you guys if you guys are interested is this the same one no this is by it just says HB I can't remember but it comes in a pack one two I already washed these by the way is this the third one I mean they're not ugly they're just not like you know really my style but it's okay <laughs> so yeah these are actually three to six but I figure since she's kind of on the smaller side I don't know about any more honestly because I feel like she's growing faster now and she's already like I put her in something six to twelve months the other day and she fit in it it was just a little big which is crazy so this three to six month though I think will fit her okay because it's like long it can stretch this way and there's arm in the room arm in the room <laughs> room in the arm and her legs you know there's room basically it's just like a little onesie but it looks like an outfit and then all the babysitter has to do is just unsnap it like onesie on the bottom yeah so i bought her a pack of these and then i bought her another pack and i got like one size up just in case actually they didn't have three to six in this so i got one size up anyway and figured even this will fit her fine so these are just Simple, simple, no, Simple Joys by Carter's. I think this could even be like a pajama, but again, I just want her to be comfortable. I don't want her to be hot. I know if she's cold, she can always throw on pants over this, like it's, you know, not a big deal. But I'd rather her not be hot than be a little chilly, because especially when she's going down for her naps and stuff, I don't want her to be too hot when she's sleeping. So, um, yeah, I bought these, so I gotta organize this, because these will only be really worn at daycare, and then whenever I run out of those, or don't have clothes for her to wear, I will, what am I saying? <laughs> Whenever I don't put her in those, I'll just put her in like, I don't know, another simple little outfit, like 
Let me see what I have here. I don't even know what I have in here. I bought her these little leggings. They actually came in the wrong size, but I think they'll still fit her. I meant to pick up, or I did pick up, I think like six to nine, and they sent me three to six, something like that. But since they're so stretchy, I think they'll still fit her. Um, these are from H&M. Oh my goodness! So basically, like, if she's not in that, then I'll put her in something like this. This was a gift. Again, not really my style, but whatever. For the babysitter, I'm just going to put her in all the clothes that are not really my style, and I don't really care about. Anyway, while I do this, let's chit-chat about this four-month sleep regression and her swaddle situation, because holy... You know what, guys? Like, if I could curse, I would. <laughs> I can't because I'll get demonetized, but holy guacamole. This is the craziest transition I've ever had to deal with with her. Like, I know she's only going to be five months old, so, like, this is just the beginning. As my mom told me when I was venting to her, she's like, I'm like, I have a headache. She's like, this is going to be your first headache of many. And I was like, mm, not really what I want to hear right now, but thanks. So, basically, when she was a newborn, yes, my love. I love you when she was a newborn oh my god this is gonna be hard to concentrate and do this at the same time but I really feel like I need to multitask so I know I know when she was a newborn that was definitely like the hardest hardest stage because you're just not sleeping like that first month or two is really exhausting um especially because you're not used to it like Nobody's used to just not sleeping like that um so that is definitely a very very hard stage but I swear nobody told me that this stage was going to be this hard. This is the second hardest stage besides the newborn stage. This four month sleep regression slash transitioning her out of her swaddle. And I think that's why it was so hard because I unfortunately had to unswaddle her arms and go through the four month sleep regression at the same time. So one big advice tip for you guys, if you guys want to take any advice from me, take this advice and especially if your kid loves to be swaddled like mine like my baby Penelope Penelope loves to be swaddled like that's her thing she feels comfy cozy like she loves it so basically um I would say my big tip is unswaddle your baby or try to get them unswaddled or start the unswaddling process before the four months leave regression before they even start rolling over like if you can do it in the first couple months do it just get it over with because going through this at the same time is absolutely terrible it really really freaking sucks so whatever i heard about unswaddling babies i oh i forgot i had these pants that's good need some more six to twelve pants for her oh i forgot i had this too i love going through her stuff and see what's this oh this is three to six p i don't know if this is gonna fit you I never heard about unswaddling your baby early or that if you didn't unswaddle them early, you might get into this four month sleep regression issue where you're doing a million things at once. And I say a million things at once because one thing I should mention is that not only did I have to unswaddle her arms, which she loved, not only did I have to go through a four month sleep regression, she was showing signs of teething, which can cause them to be uncomfortable. She also started to roll over, and that's why I had to unswaddle her because it's just not safe to have your baby swaddled while she roll while they're rolling over. So, rolling over added a whole other thing to her naps because now that she knows she can do it, she'll wake up from her nap and roll over. But then she's like pissed that she's on her stomach, and oh my god, that's been really fun. Then also her wake windows were kind of getting a little bit off, like. She was on a really good wake window schedule, and if you don't know about wake windows or know what I'm talking about, check out my uh, sleep training video or how I got my newborn to sleep through the night. Uh, I talk about it there, but basically her wake windows were off, and so I had to start lengthening them, and that's seeming to help right now, but that was just like a whole other thing. It was just a lot going on. So basically that's why I say get your baby out of their swaddle before the four month sleep regression because a lot of de developmental things happen and then you're battling all these things not to mention I didn't know what was it making her sleep well like I knew she was going through the four month sleep regression but I also was naive in the fact that I felt like she really wouldn't it wouldn't hit us that hard and I'm realizing that now watching other people's videos that a lot of people said that especially if you have a good sleeper but it seems to always hit them so leave a comment down below if your baby did not go through the four month sleep regression because holy moly we are definitely going through it over here so yeah that um 
just going through all of it together made it 10 times harder. And if you're curious how I'm organizing the drawers, by the way, um, I have an organization video for you guys or how I organize her drawers. I'll put that up on the screen and link down below. But basically what I do is I switch her lowest drawer, which is usually the higher sizes. So right now that's like 9 to 12 months or 6 to 12. And I put it up a drawer and then I put like the... Um, bigger sizes down on the, the last drawer and then I move like her let's just say three to six which is what I'm moving now into storage in her closet so anyway then I had to kind of figure out was it the swaddle is it really the three month sleep regression like what's happening because with the three month sleep regression knock on wood she's actually been sleeping fine at night she'll wake up once or twice but I'll put the pacifier in and she'll go right to sleep and then she's up for a feeding like eight hours in I'll feed her and then I'll put her back down sometimes she'll go down sometimes she won't um, but I think it's mainly because my blackout curtains in my bedroom are blackout, but they're not like as dark as I would want them to be for her to still think it's nighttime and go back to sleep fully. So we are going to transition to her into her room hopefully in the next couple weeks, but I just want this sleep regression and all this to be done first because I just don't want to add another thing onto the mix of things that we're dealing with so anyway it wasn't affecting her nighttime sleep so i'm like is is she still going through the sleep regression or is it just the swaddle that's making her not nap so then one day i put her in the swaddle and you guys saw on instagram that i did and basically she um she slept two hours she took a huge two hour nap which she hasn't even done a two hour nap in like months like since she was little little like a newborn but i think that she was just so exhausted and then just so happy to be back in her swaddle that she just knocked out and she was so happy and content. Um, so then I was like, it has to be the swaddle if that's the case. But <laughs> recently, I feel like now she's gotten used to this swaddle for the most part. Again, knock on wood. Like right now, she just took a great nap. Like one of the best naps that she's taken since this whole regression. I'm hoping by next week this regression will really be done because we're going on almost a month of this so and she started a week early like it was like a week before she turned four months she started with the sleep regression so um basically she started with sleeping pretty good in her swaddle because i was able to oh wait let me backtrack actually she went through this thing also where she just would not want to go down and totally started refusing her naps on sunday and today is thursday so she just refused her naps, like was not having it. So I had to have her nap on me because I just wasn't going to not let her nap. Like it wasn't going to happen. Babies need to nap. It's developmental. They need sleep. So basically I let her nap on me if she wasn't going to take the nap in the crib. But not every nap because I didn't want her to get used to that obviously. But for the most part, if she wasn't going to nap, I was like, okay, we're going to nurse. You're going to sleep on me. You're going to take a little, at least 30 minute nap and I won't feel as bad. That whole thing happened. And then now she's back to not refusing her naps. Like this morning, I put her right down. She went to sleep. I did wait, open the wake windows a little bit or widen the wake windows a little. So make sure I make sure she's really tired before I put her down, um, which has helped too. And where was I going with this? So after she basically got over that whole thing of refusing her naps, she has been good with her swaddle and her new thing has been just taking short naps like 20 minute naps 30 minute naps and if you hear anything she's literally pooping and that's why i didn't change her right away because i know she has to finish her poop before i go in there and get get her like changed and so she was like taking these really short naps and i've been watching other people's four month sleep regression vlogs and stuff and it seems like it's very common for them to do that because what's happening is they're in like an adult sleep now instead of a baby sleep oh my god Penelope that's a big poop and so it's really hard for them to connect their wake windows and she was doing so good with that if you guys know and been following me I vlogged all the time and I was always like oh my god her wake windows they're so I mean her her connecting her sleep has been so great like she's just been doing so so good so this morning was the first time in a long time that she connected a sleep cycle and she really stood sleeping um so now i think we're back to the problem of her just going through her regression and i think we're over the swaddle thing um she's been sleeping with her arms and swaddled that night hasn't gave me a problem and i put her down for her naps now with all her all her naps her arms are unswaddled so what's happening now is that she is fully rolling over almost every nap she'll start on her back and then when she wakes up because of that you know not being able to connect her sleep cycle she's like okay let me roll on my belly and then she'll roll on her belly and for the most part she'll get mad that she's there and i'll have to come in and grab her and all that but this nap she did pretty good this was only the second time where she's done this as far as rolling on her belly and staying there and not crying so she rolled on her belly stood there 
It looked like she was actually gonna go to sleep. Like she went to the side, put her hand in her mouth, and I thought she was actually gonna finish off her nap like that, which would have been amazing. But she only stood like that for like a couple minutes, and then she was up again, and then she was chilling for like another 5, 10, and then I went in there because she started crying. So that nap, I'll take that nap. That was great. Altogether, she was in the crib over an hour, a little over an hour. So that was much, much better. It gives me hope that we're getting through it and by next week i think we might be through this but holy cow guys we'll see how the rest of the naps go though because that's a little progress i mean that's that's big progress but if the rest of the naps go like that that's huge that's like okay we're really getting close to getting out of this i think but we'll see how the rest of the naps go the rest of the naps could just go down the drain and just like maybe she won't want to take them i don't know but basically my whole point of this whole thing is to update you guys on what's going on I think we're getting through it now, but it is so hard. And if you guys are going through this, no, you're not alone. And we all have gone through this. I mean, I would think almost all of us have gone through this because every time I see a video, that's like the one thing that keeps me holding on when people are like, you know, we've all gone through this. Hold on. You'll, you'll get through it too. And the fact that like, it's not permanent and that was like a huge thing that like would stress me out I, would, I was like is she like regressing to the point where she's just not gonna ever take a good nap again and the fact that I'm going back to work soon I think just made it a million times worse emo worse emotionally for me because for me I'm changing her diaper well I'm gonna talk to you guys but for me I felt like she was gonna be at the babysitter and not take naps and that was like a huge concern for me because obviously I don't want her to be cranky or tired there and I'm running out of time to get her on like a schedule so it's been an emotional and draining situation and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that I have not cried and I have not been extremely stressed about this um, so if you are going through it and you feel like I don't know like you're over dramatic or whatever don't because <laughs> it is extremely draining to not have your baby sleep I mean especially because they need it like forget us and that we need to get things done but they need it or they are in bad moods they're cranky they're you know then their their nighttime sleep gets thrown off it's just sleep is so important that it should be something that we stress about so i just felt like crazy for like crying and being upset and when i look back and think about it i just feel like it's valid like we should feel this way so anyway that is my whole rant on that I feel like that is gonna be the entire vlog because I'm still sitting here I have not even finished doing this and yeah so I think I'm just gonna try to finish organizing here because apparently I can't multitask and then I'll get up and take a shower so it's a little bit later and of course now the sun's out now that I'm done sitting down and talking to you guys but I just wanted to show you what I did in the drawers. I have all her 3 to 6 and 6 to 12 stuff in here. Um, I rolled up her pants like I usually do or like sets in here. And then pajamas. I have a bunch of her white onesies in the laundry that I have to fold and put here. Um, extra like shirts and t-shirts. These are her clothes for daycare or the babysitter I should say. Bows, socks, and then in the back, what do I have there? Oh, her bathing suit and like an extra couple little things. But for 9 to 12, guys, I have like nothing. I'm going to have to do some shopping for that, which I'm not mad about. But <laughs> I just have like a couple of things in here. Um, and then these are kind of just extra summer stuff that she'll probably grow out of soon anyway. So I just put them in there. And then once I'm ready to let them go, they will go in a bin like that and go either in her closet or in a closet in the living room because we don't have a lot of storage here and then this is just like hats for the winter an extra swaddle and some tights that are for 12 months but that's all organized her diapers are still nice and organized in here wipes you guys have seen the whole kind of deal these are actually overnight diapers that i bought her just to have because she was having like huge um not she wasn't having explosions or anything, but she was having like big peas, <laughs> like just like a lot of pee. And they would sometimes come out of her diaper. So I got those. I don't know if they're that much, like they make that much of a difference, but she hasn't had any pee come out. So I guess so. And then you guys have seen her closet in my organization video, but I do have some like 9 to 12 and 
12 to 18 month stuff here. I bought her these things recently from H&M. I showed them on my Instagram, but they're just like these cute little shirts. I love this sweater. Is this sweater not so freaking cute? Oh, I love H&M clothes. This came in the set with that brown one. So cute. And then this sweater, I freaking love this sweater. They actually sent me two by accident, so I have to return one. Or I put two in my cart by accident. But so freaking cute. I love H&M baby clothes. They're like one of my favorite places to get clothes. And then somebody got her these overalls for, I was going to say for her birthday for some reason, but I think for like my baby shower, or no, for Christmas. And I've been wanting to put her in little overalls, but these are nine months. So I'll put these on her probably with a sweater in the fall. Um, I can't believe she's going to be in like those kind of clothes soon. Like that's so crazy. Time really flies, but... Um, my friend uh, Nadia got this little sweater from H&M too. This is a little gap sweater, but she has like some things, but I don't have a lot of things in that 9 to 12 month range, so I will have to shop for her soon. But I'm cool with it. Like I said, I love picking up little things for her. I'm back. I don't know what the stance is. Um, Penelope's sleeping right there, so like the room right over, so I don't want to make too much noise. But I'm showered and I'm starving. Um, I want to eat lunch because we've been up since 7, so it's 12 o'clock, so it's lunchtime anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm not putting any effort into what I look like today. Today is not a day of hair and makeup. Today is a day of old sweatpants and a t-shirt or a tank top I should I should say that I haven't worn since I was pregnant so yeah I also have my period and I'm just not in the mood to look cute so there's that it's funny to me because she sleeps with her arms like up like this let it focus on this as if like her arms are still in the swaddle poor thing probably misses her swaddle so much but I think fingers crossed that she's getting used to it and um let's see how long she's been napping it hasn't been long it's been 17 minutes but even if she takes a half an hour lunch a half an hour lunch break what am i saying half an hour nap um i'll be happy with that like i would like her to take a 45 minute to an hour nap but that used to be my like bare minimum but after going through this sleep progression i will take 30 minutes anyway i'm gonna try to get some lunch in me really quickly before she wakes up but I did want to mention, and I'm still whispering because I'm traumatized <laughs> because I just don't want her to wake up. Um, but I did want to mention that I didn't go into like depth about like how I got her arms out of her swaddle. That was like a whole other thing. This is week three, guys, of trying to get her arms out of her swaddle. So if you are going through the same thing, just keep at it. The only thing I can say is be consistent and keep trying um, and my main tip is to do the same thing that you do during her naps at night because that's one thing I didn't do and I started to change and I feel like that helped a lot. I was only unswaddling her arm, um, arm or arms because I started with one arm and then I did two during, the day and during her naps and I think that might have confused her. I think she was like, well, why am I being swaddled at night? But then during the day, I only have this arm out or both arms out. So that's just a theory. I'm not really sure but when I start, started doing it at night I feel like she was like okay this is just the new thing now this is happening all the time and so we'll see we're still kind of working on it but I feel like we've made a lot a lot more progress since I started swaddle, unswaddling her arms at night as well I just was not ready to give up my night's sleep <laughs> but she did better with the nighttime than she did during the day I just think she's so tired at night that she doesn't really care for the most part all right, so let me eat before she wakes up because you just never know now. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's a little bit later. Forgot to pull out the vlog camera. We are on our third nap of the day. So the first nap of the day was good, like I said. I have to mute this, I always forget, and I feel like, I don't know if that's annoying or not to have the TV laying in the background, or if you guys can even really hear it, but whoa, that's attractive. Um, but basically, she took that first good nap, like I said, or I told you guys about, and then the second nap wasn't that great. <laughs> kind of had a feeling it was going to be short for some reason. She, as soon as I was about to eat my lunch, of course, she woke up. Um, but she slept probably altogether like 30 minutes. 
it was one of the, one of those instances again where she kind of woke up, rolled on her belly, and then she was over it. Actually, she rolled on her side for a little bit, and I thought she was gonna actually take a nap on her side or continue okay. napping on her side, and that was that. And then I was like, okay, that's fine, whatever. So then I nursed her. We hung out for a little bit, and now her third nap of the day went pretty well. It kind of went like the first nap. She was really tired, put her down. She napped about 45 minutes before she got restless. So, and then altogether, I think she was in the crib about an hour. So I think we're making progress. I think we're getting there, so. She has a couple more naps till the end of the day. I don't know how many naps they're supposed to be taking around this time, but I just followed her wake windows, and because she's not taking long naps, I think she's just taking more naps. I'm gonna guess they're supposed to take like three to four naps around this age, but I'm really not 100% sure. And that's like kind of the whole theme of this video. I'm just a first time mom trying to figure things out and just like relay whatever I find out to you guys. Now, let me grab her. <laughs> we just nursed, or we just nursed her. And I'm gonna see if she wants to hang out on her mat for a little bit. Hey girl, hey girl, hey. Hey girl, hey. Say hello, I have rosy cheeks. Hi, baby. <laughs> yeah, hi. <laughs> she loves these strands um, that go on the Love Every Play Gym. You can purchase them separately, but it's only like 25 bucks, and I think it's so worth it because it's just like when she puts her feet up and she grabs her feet and stuff, it's nice kind of, I don't know, it's sensory. So they like make noise and they have texture and all that stuff, but... She scratched herself on her nose, which is just part of the fact that her arms are out of her swaddle now. Sometimes she just scratches herself, but I tried to get her nails as short as I could without kind of cutting her. Right, baby? Hi. <laughs> Hi, Angel. I love you. So now I'm gonna probably edit this video. There's really not much else we're doing today. We don't have that many activities to do. That's why you guys probably see her on her play gym a lot. They say, they, like experts say that it's best for them to kind of just be on the floor and like be able to roll around and grab their toes and grab things that are like hanging from the gym. Like me holding her isn't really doing anything for her like kind of developmental wise. Like she's not rolling or learning how to experience other things except me holding her. So I try to put her down as much as I can. I do like to hold her sometimes, and sometimes she likes to be in my arms, sometimes she really doesn't want to be. But we rotate between the play gym, and then I have her bounce seat here. If I have to take a shower, do something, she'll go in there, or we'll go in the kitchen and she'll watch me cook. And then um, sometimes I will pull out her jumper, but she's still a little small for it. It starts at four months, but I don't think she's gonna be really too into it until next month or next, no, I should say next week when she turns five months. So I don't know. I've been bringing it out here and there, but she's just not that into it. But I want to set up like different PlayStations for her because there's only so many things you can do with them at this age. That's why I do like the Love Every like Play Gym and the boxes that we get and stuff because I am able to give her stuff from there. Like we still use stuff from the newborn box. Like this thing she grabs all the time. Um, this ball. She just likes to play with all this stuff. Also, this little teether by Skip Hop. She loves this thing. I don't really know why, but she's into this. So, yeah, it's just hard, especially being quarantined. What is the matter? Sometimes I'll read her a book. Um, but there's just only so many things you can do, especially being quarantined. Like, her wake windows are starting to um, widen and next month well when she turns five months the minimum amount of time they should be awake is two hours and what is there to do for two hours in an apartment like i don't know i just wish we were in quarantine so that we can like go out more and like go to the park and yeah. do things and we can do that now but i just don't feel safe um i would love to like walk around the mall with her just anything just to get out here and there not all the time but I don't know. So that's probably what we're gonna do the rest of the day. Just hang out at home and play on our play gym and hang out in mommy's arms and, right? Right, you little cutie? But I guess this is gonna be the end of the vlog, guys. I'm sorry if it was kind of a boring, rambly-ish vlog. I tried to make my vlogs a little bit more interesting <laughs> than just me talking to you guys the whole time. But considering we are quarantined and we're just always in my apartment, not really doing much, I guess. Um, there's only so much I can make or only so much I can do to make the vlogs that interesting, but 
I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to follow us on our journey. And I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.